In the middle of the Badlands sits a lonely, crazy old Blapper Rover supporter waiting for a win. Oh my goodness, that's thunder. Um, yes, Middlesbrough coming up. Let's talk about it next. That's right, folks, back once again with another match preview. This time we're taking a look at Blabber Rovers' next home match up against Minas Brown. We'll get to that in just one second. If you're new to the channel, smash the old subscribe button to keep your bag up to date with all things Blabber Rovers related, championship related, world football. We've got it all here under one roof. Yes, folks, I am in the middle of the Badlands, South Dakota National Park. It's, it's, no, it's not a green screen, it's the real flipping deal. Yeah grass and everything, uh, ants, the works. Uh, but anyway, let's get stuck into th things and take a look at the match in a bit more detail, shall we? So here we go, boys and girls. Quick look at the game up against Middlesbrough. Yes, it does take place right here at Ewood Park. Yes, 17th of August, the game. Uh, Jonathan Woodgate, uh, not too sure I spelled that correctly, but Jonathan Woodgate is the manager for Middlesbrough. And the danger man for me will always be Britta Sombolonga because he is a goal-scoring machine at this level. Uh, Middlesbrough finished last time out, seventh in the championship. Uh, the record between the two sides Sides, um, is this 133 games between the two the two sides 58 wins for Rovers 39 for Middlesbrough 36 the draw uh, last time out it was a 1-1 draw at their place and a 1-0 loss for Rovers at Middlesbrough so hopefully we can turn the tide a little bit uh, this game obviously again we already mentioned it 17th of August but we do get again do get out again at their place on the 1st of February now quick look at the uh, starting the 11s uh, but before that quick look at the injuries and suspensions Rovers uh, got some question marks behind Daryl Lennon and Ryan Nyembe uh, not too sure either will, will feature but they might uh, Jacob Davenport and Sam Hart also out as it stands no registered suspensions for Rovers neither do Middlesbrough uh, they I've got question marks around George Friend, Sam McQueen, and Dale Fry as well. These are what I believe would be the starting levels, or who what I would pick. Uh, Walton between the sticks. Cunningham should come in for his debut. Uh, Lenehan, uh, Tosin, and Nyambe. Question marks, question marks. But recent Twitter uh, comments and stuff said at uh, press conferences and all that. Looks like Bennett is is going to be El Capitano for the season. I'm not too sure I, I, I'm, I'm on board with that one. Uh, Bradley Johnson at uh, defensive midfielder or, you know, centre mid alongside young Travis. Uh, Dak, Armstrong, Brereton and Big DG for me up a top. Yeah, Rothwell should start, but we'll, we'll, you know, I'm, I'm mixing it up a little bit. As for Middlesbrough, this is who I think they will go with. Uh, Randolph between the sticks. Uh, Coulson, Shotton, Ayala and Housen are your back, your back four. McNair, Clayton and Wing uh, uh, in your midfield with Fletcher, Sombolonga and Johnson up top. Quick look at the strengths and weaknesses for both sides here. Uh, Middlesbrough's strengths are set pieces, attacking on the wings, creating chances through individual skill and stealing the ball from opposition as for Rovers, defending set pieces and protecting the lead. I don't know how that is possible because we've not had a lead. Uh, as for our weaknesses, finishing scoring chances and defending against long shots and avoiding the offside, tack, uh, offside uh, uh, manoeuvre. Uh, uh, as for Middlesbrough's weaknesses, of all, avoiding fouling in dangerous areas, defending against skillful players, defending set pieces, avoiding offside and protecting the lead as well. As for Blackburn's style, we try to cross a fair bit, control the game in the opposition half, attack down the middle and also take long shots and we rotated the 11 a little bit. I don't think so. I don't think that's true. Uh, Middlesbrough's style is attacking through balls, often attacking down the right, taking long shots, controlling the game in the opposition's half. Uh, quite, they try to cross a fair bit, take a couple of long shots, but they seem to have a very, very consistent 11. And that is Woodgate's style. Quick look at the results so far. So good for everybody. Uh, Fulham, uh, well, last time out was Rovers against Fulham. We lost at Craven Cottage and we also lost our first home game against Charlton 2-1. As for Middlesbrough, they lost their last game up against Brentford. That was back at their place. A 1-0 loss. David Ryan with a clean sheet. And obviously that epic uh, start to the season. 3-3 three, uh, three, three, uh, dual draw even up against Luton uh, when they nearly won it. But Luton snatched a point in the end. Now, this video hopefully should go live uh, prior to the 
Oldham Athletic Carabello Cup match between Rovers at Ewood Park. Same can be said for Middlesbrough's next game up against Crewe. Uh, same day, same time. Uh, Rovers will then take, obviously, Middlesbrough this weekend. Then they'll take on Hull next week. Cardiff on the weekend. And then West Brom is the wrap-up, the last five games. As uh, so for Middlesbrough, obviously, the Carabello Cup Rovers. Then they take on Wigan. Then they take on Millwall. Back-to-back -back home games for them. And then it's Bristol City in front of the Sky Cameras on the 31st of August. Look at the stats here for you. Obviously, not much going on for Rovers. No goals, really. Like, well, we did score a goal, but it was classed as a big fat OG. Uh, a couple of players got red, yellow cards so far. Bennett and Johnson. And that is your lot. As for Fulham, three scorers already on the books. The Somber Longer, Fletcher and Wing. Uh, Fletcher and Wing also got a matching yellow card to that set. A uh, quick look at the last results in the championship. Uh, Leeds and Forest duked it out with a 1-1 draw. Cardiff uh, picked up a win against Luton. Charlton with a 3-1 victory. Uh, Hull got up and running. Obviously, we lost to Fulham. Uh, Preston North End spanked Wigan 3-0 despite um, some grumblings from their fans prior to the game. So for Wednesday, they continue their streak as well. Top of the pops. And as you can see, they are top of the pops. Six points out of six. So Charlton, they're right on the heels. Uh, Leeds, QPR, West Brom and Derby currently occupy the playoff spots. Down the bottom is some amazing team that wear blue and white shirts uh, from Lancashire. It is Rovers. Cool. We're going to get that sorted out. Stoke are joining us for company as are Reading. Uh, meanwhile, these are fixtures for this weekend in the championship as a whole. I will have, if not already, uh, my championship predictions for match day number three on the channel. So make sure you check that sucker out. Um, but in the meantime, just a, a recap of those uh, matches for you. Fulham, uh, they go to Huddersfield. Barnsley take on Charlton. Obviously, the game of the weekend is Rovers against uh, Bloomsbury. Park, Brentford take on Hull, Bristol City against QBR, Luton against West Brom, Millwall against Chef Wed, the Forest up against Birmingham, City, Stoke against Derby, difficult one that for Stoke, Swansea City up against Preston North and Wigan, then Ticks take on Leeds United and Reading will take on Cardiff. Current quick look at the uh, at the watch I call it, the top goal scorers out in the championship. We've got Hernandez, Lawrence. Uh, Lyle Taylor and Grant from Huddersfield all with two goals so far and then there's a whole host of players there with one goal uh, to boot. As for the assists, uh, Johnson from Preston and Williams from Charlton, they're the king assist makers as it stands with two on their cards. Just the one red card throughout the championship and that's Kieran Westwood for Sheffield Wednesday but it doesn't stop them winning does it? Uh, Look at the form book. It doesn't really this 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 information doesn't really uh, tell you much at the moment because it's still early doors. Uh, but Rovers are bottom as well on the form book. Two defeats on a spin. Sheffield Wednesday top the pops. It's, it's just the league table, but in form wise, I I think I think. Quickly get the home form. Does that uh, uh, and that's that's where we are, and that's where Middlesbrough are. Oh, I got that one right. As for the home form. Rovers are in 17th spot. Uh, Middlesbrough in 22nd spot. So that's, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Uh, but we get to hopefully get to rectify that a little bit this weekend. Then we uh, in the away form. There we go. 23rd for Rovers. Middlesbrough are ninth because they did pick up a point. Uh, now, how about the, the the previous results between these two sides um, over the last six games in all competitions and all grounds between Middlesbrough and Blackburn Rovers? It's uh, uh, there's been four draws and a win apiece. Uh, and obviously, last time out, Williams got himself a big fat red card at Ewa Park. Um, Brits on Malonga with the goal. Uh, meanwhile, at the the same same season, there was a red card at Middlesbrough's place. Brits on Malonga once again scoring against us. Charlie Mulgrew, the, uh, the the ex skipper, the only goal scorer for us. Uh, a couple seasons back, though, we did take on Middlesbrough at uh, Ewa Park and won two one. Hope Akpan and Big DG scoring the goals. Adam Forshaw as well for consolation for Middlesbrough. Uh, uh, Jordi Gomez has scored, yeah, and, and then it was just draws, 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 draws galore. Uh, meanwhile, the last six games at Ewan Park between the two sides is also a very, very even Stevens. Two wins for Rovers, two wins for Borough, and two draws between us. Uh, but... So obviously last time out Middlesbrough picked up a victory, but they hadn't had a victory since 2012 prior to that game, with Lucas Chikawakits scoring the goals for Middlesbrough. Benny McCarthy get bagging himself a goal back in 2018. Uh, sorry, 2008. 2018, that'd be great to have him uh, leading our line. Jason Lowe scoring a goal in 2013. How mad is 
that, boys and girls. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I've got for you. Um, but yes, it's a big, big game for Rovers. Hopefully, we can turn this around and get some points on the board. And then you never know, we might just get ourselves out of that stupid relegation zone already. That's pretty much all I've got for you today, folks. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the thumbs up. If you're new, smash the subscribe. New videos pretty much every single day on the channel. Uh, this video is actually the start of a whole week of build up. So, Babin Rovers up against Middlesbrough. And he will part. We're hopefully going to have a, a Rovers fan, a Middlesbrough fan, and of course, Cass will have her predictions uh, later on during the week. Uh, but until then, uh, give me your thoughts and opinions about this game. Do you think Rovers will actually get off the mark uh, with a big fat W this weekend? Uh, the next time you'll see me, it could be, it could be in Las Vegas or it could be in Yellowstone National Park because we're doing 6,000 miles, boys and girls, in two weeks. Absolutely crazy. Uh, anyway, I'm going to let you get out of here. Thumbs up, subscribe, Ciao now. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope. <laughs>